Hello, this is ET, a solutions engineer with Datadog, here with a quick video to show you how to configure a custom check um, on your Datadog agent, which uh, can be deployed anywhere, in my case, a Raspberry Pi. So the main ingredients are the Raspberry Pi, two files um, that need to be configured, as you can see here, you can get the information from our documentation site, writing a custom agent check. There will be two files I'll show you that you need to create, uh, place into your uh, Datadog agent directory. And then uh, the third item is a utility that will check the network speeds uh, from wherever the agent is installed, back out through your service provider to give you an idea of the network speeds on the uh, device. So with that, we will uh, connect in uh, to a Raspberry Pi that, uh, by the way, is one of the latest versions uh, using one of the latest CPU um, processors, ARM64, and actually image with an Ubuntu operating system for the Raspberry Pi. As you can see here, it's a Raspberry Pi and uh, running an ARM64 uh, processor. So the Datadog agent can monitor many things. Um, we are gonna create a custom check. The location of the Datadog agent uh, will be Etsy Datadog. In here will be two subdirectories, confd and checks.d. It's in here that we will place our custom files. But before we show you that, you need to first install a utility called speedtest dash CLI. This can be installed on multiple operating systems uh, available from YUM, from uh, apt, etc. And the way we're going to run it is with a simple option, dash dash simple. Uh, what this will produce is three custom metrics. The custom check will be run by the Datadog agent every two minutes. Uh, it will run this utility, it will parse the three metrics that come out, and then generate uh, three metrics that go back into your account for you to use for any purpose, for monitoring, dashboards, um, analytics. And so as you can see here, we have the ping speed uh, at 7.8 milliseconds, the download speed at 70 megabits, and uh, a pretty horrible upload speed. Um, which are interesting things to capture and track uh, as you run this agent check. And so with that, uh, the, the idea is inside checks.d, uh, all this is explained in our documentation, writing a custom agent check. There is a section here that explains how to write the actual check, as well as the configuration that controls how often uh, to run the, uh, the check. And so the checks.d directory will include your file that will begin with the word custom underscore, followed by whatever it is you're looking to do, speed check in my case. The script itself, again, is copied right out of our documentation. The relevant sections for me is gonna be a section where we are telling the agent to run this custom check using this CLI. And we simply parse it, um, we get the ping speed, the download, the upload speed, and we convert that into um, three custom metrics. One for ping, download, and upload. And notice the namespace, it's system.net, something that's already very familiar to you. Uh, if you use Datadog, you're gonna have a lot of other system.net type of metrics. We simply used the same uh, namespace and added our own. And so now that this script is there, uh, there's one other uh, item, uh, the file that will tell the agent how often to run this check. And so once again, custom speed check and custom speed check .py, the Python script. They both have the same name. One is in conf.d and the other one is in the checks.d directory. And so this particular file will tell the agent to run every two minutes the custom check. So now that we've done that, 
you can also double check that the agent itself is stable and good and running your custom check just like any other check you can go up and find the one that you just created uh, here is the custom check it's running fine it is okay various other items that you can use just like any other check and at the end of the day the results go back into your account so in my account one of the first places to go confirm things is metrics explorer where we can look for system.net you can see many other metrics there for the namespace but we care about the ones we created system.net dot ping dot upload and dot download so you can see the metrics coming in the last 15 minutes uh, you can run this custom check with the speed test cli utility installed on the system from any platform that runs a datadog agent and you can see here whether it's a macbook or the raspberry pi look and feel is the same and we're starting to track a useful set of metrics for our uh, uh, isp uh, network speeds and finally any of the dashboards that uh, you might be using you can enhance them simply add the custom metrics that you just included again system.net ping download upload perhaps use anomaly detection as the graph is showing here and then finally leverage all the useful uh, aspects of the datadog dashboard such as template variables scoping it right to the uh, in this case the raspberry pi and as you can see here there's already some interesting anomalies uh, being detected so with that happy monitoring and uh, may your isp uh, uh, perform uh, at its best